scanning for audio. Welcome, welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. This time talking about the 8th Doctor series, The Time War, Series 1. It's a box set, it's got four stories, it's five discs if you buy the physical version, even if you don't buy the physical version it still says disc 5, being disc 5 being the extras. Now, we've had Doom Coalition, we've had all of that other nonsense with Molly and her tardy box. So, Do you need to have experienced those other marvellous bits of narrative? Well, only if you fancy listening to a fantastic piece of narrative. No, this is an ideal jumping on point for the Eighth Doctor. How many times have you heard that before? Seriously, it is. You could start off here and just go sorted. If all you've ever experienced is the TV movie and Night of the Doctor or Day of the Doctor, whatever it was called, and then that's it for your eighth doctor time you can start here it's fine obviously i would recommend buying you know the war doctor box sets because they were just bloody marvelous pardon my french but here we've got the eighth doctor partaking in the time war now there's a few of you out there and me included who think that what we've actually got here are some of the stories that we could have had if john hurt had lived It's arguable. I can completely see that. Some of these stories would work brilliantly. Conscript would be superb with the with the War Doctor. We're not gonna get the War Doctor, right? Just put up with it. You could have a load of people impersonating John Hurt till the cows come home and it wouldn't be the same thing. Lots of people going, Ah yes, darling. No, not on at all. I apologize. I promised you I wouldn't do the voices anymore. Right. You've got this boxed set. It's marvellous. It's brilliant. It's the sort of thing that you just want to buy other people and give it to them. Because you want to say, this is how good Doctor Who can be. Why isn't it this good on TV? Mainly because it would cost an absolute fortune. But that's beside the point. What isn't beside the point is that you can't review it. You can't. There are some brilliant things on the Big Finish website saying how marvellous this box set is, but they've all done the same as me. They've all gone, what can you see? You can't talk about the stories. You can give a rough idea, and I'll probably read the reviews out in a moment, the the synopsis, but you can't talk about the stories in depth. You can't really talk about the characters. You can talk a bit, but then you're entering into the world of spoilers, sweetie. I mean, this is what I intended doing for the review. Are you aware of the Monty Python song, I Bet You They Can't Play This Song on the Radio, which has got all of the swear words removed with sound effects? Well, I was going to record a proper review, talk at great depth about the characters and what they do and everything, and then use the sound effects from that single to dub over. And you know what? It would have worked. If A, I had the time, and B, it just wouldn't have worked at all really, would it? It would have just been me with a lot of sound effects and you don't want to hear that. It would have been funny for like two minutes and then you would have just gone mental. So bear with me. I will do my best. But it all boils down to this. It's a storming box set. A great place to start the Eighth Doctor again. And it's just glorious. I didn't think the Eighth Doctor would work at the beginning of the Time War. I was aware that the Cardinals were all gathering their forces and could possibly begin to start messing with time, that the Daleks had so many plans and that a time war itself would have so many effects. But you know what? All of these things are factored in. They're all here. They're all here to let you wash over, to amuse you. And, of course, there's a major overriding story arc. But I don't want to spoil it. I just want to tell you how damn good it is. And it's brilliant. I can't wait for the next box set. Yes, I know we were left with, well, some major, major hangover points when it came to Doom Coalition. 
there are some characters we don't even know if they survived. I'm guessing they did. I'm hoping so in the case of at least two of them. But they're not here. Here we've got the Eighth Doctor being just glorious. And if you haven't experienced any of the Eighth Doctor, you've missed Lucy Miller, you've missed Charlotte Pollard, you've missed some great stuff. But here, Sheena, take a bow. That only makes sense if you've heard it, so ignore me. Let's have a look at the synopsis. It's for the best. The Starship of Theseus. The Doctor and his companion, Sheena, land the TARDIS on the glamorous luxury space liner. Theseus is just about to leave the Jupiter spaceport. An opportunity for a holiday presents itself. And it's one they're very glad to take. But when a disturbance catches their attention, they realise sinister events are taking place on board. Passengers are vanishing on every trip, and unless they're careful, they may be next. Can the Doctor and Emma solve the mystery, or is there something else they should be worrying about? Yeah, you spotted that as well, didn't you? Of course you did. I don't want to say anything. It's a great introduction, a great story, and it starts off so... Oh, I hate to use the word ordinarily, but that's kind of what it's for. And as a storyline, it's pretty good as well. This leads us rather stonkingly into Echoes of War by Matt Fitton. Colliding with the full force of the time war, the Doctor crash lands on a jungle world with a ragtag band of refugees. Oh yes, we've been here before. Think pitch black, only so much worse. To stay alive, they must cross a landscape where time itself is corrupted, a forest which circles through growth and decay, where sounds of battle are never far away, and where strange creatures lurk all around. Luckily, the Doctor has friends. Not only plucky scientist Bliss, but another much more unlikely ally. Its name is Dahl. Yeah. Oh yeah, stories are getting better by the moment. And then you've got the conscript, which is perhaps... I wouldn't even want to say the cleverest of the stories, because let's face it, Echoes of War is a glorious piece of construction. But the conscript? Cardinal Elystra has a new tactic to persuade the Doctor to join his people's fight. With his friends locked away, he has been conscripted alongside fellow Gallifreyans to train for the front lines of battle. Commander Harlan has a reputation. His camp regime is harsh. He believes the Time Lords must adapt to win this war, but the Doctor is not easily intimidated. Can there be any place for dissent when the time war looms so close? Think Private Benjamin, but without any of the jokes. Yeah, well, basically Private Benjamin the movie then. But no, that's not fair. It's really well done. And you get to have the Doctor deal with some serious issues about whether or not he's going to fight. It's the beginning of the problems that will end up in the pressing of the button or not pressing of the button. Now, one life, John Dorney. As the full force of the Time War crashes down around the Doctor and his friends, a desperate battle for survival ensues. But not one, everyone is willing to play the same game. Elystra is after a weapon that could end the war in a stroke, and she'll sacrifice anyone or anything to get it back to Gallifrey, even the Doctor. Surrounded by Daleks on a tortured planet, only one man can save the day, but he doesn't want to fight. It's a special run of prequels to The War Doctor, but that's not selling it properly. Because we always wanted to see the Time War, and this is the Time War in full flow. Yes, this takes you closer and closer to Night of the Doctor. Does this take us so close to Paul McGann's retirement from the role? I don't know, because we can always flash back, let's face it. But he has been doing the role for 20 odd years. Yeah, I know. Were you there? Doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. So, with that, I'll just say that it is a stormingly good box set. I can't praise it enough. I seriously can't. But I can't tell you any more than I've already done so. Because that would be entering the world of spoilers, and that's just not fair. So until next time, be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. The Eighth Doctor. The Time War. Volume 1. Welcome aboard the space cruiser Theseus. We're on a cruise liner. But there's no glass. That's space out there. Please have your tickets and boarding passes ready. Why aren't we dead? Because I doubt they would sell many tickets for the cruise if it killed people. Sensors indicate the enemy TARDIS we have pursued. This 
destroy it! I obey! This feels different somehow. Doctor, we're on holiday, remember? Ripples are becoming waves crashing onto the shore. Meaning? That something wicked this way comes. Big Finish. We love stories. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog? Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. 